guys, what's going on? It's Will here, and there's someone we need to talk about. So Kanye West has absolutely lost his nut. It, it's gone. He's lost it. This man's tweets are borderline psychotic. So this is a topic which should probably really go on this week on the internet, but it's just so big. Like, I just wouldn't have enough time to talk about it all. I write this to you, my brothers, while still 53 million in personal debt. Please pray we overcome. This is my true heart. What does he mean by true heart? You, you've only got one. Oh no, no, sorry, that, that's my pretend heart. This, this one's my true one, J this one here. It's bollocks. 53 million in personal debt. It's just not though, is he? The guy has a car like this and a Forbes listed net worth of like over $150 million. He, he's just not in debt. I don't get this whole thing like rappers pretending they have no money. Like when 50 Cent declared he was bankrupt and then a couple of months later he posted this on Instagram. That's like my next four years tuition in a fridge. So then because of this debt, he went on a bit of a roll asking billionaires to support his, his ideas or whatever. Like he genuinely tweeted, right, Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, I know it's your birthday tomorrow, but can you please call me by tomorrow? <laughs> like, what? I'm sure that sounds like a great proposition to Mark Zuckerberg. I, I bet he'd be straight on the phone. I mean, for my sake, I personally hope that he doesn't get the money off Mark Zuckerberg because, like, I tweeted, you know, asking for some help with my videos, and I only asked for a fiver and didn't reply to me. Birthday or not, it was only a fiver. But even though he's in this 53 million pounds of debt, he also tweeted, yes, I am personally rich and I can buy furs and houses for my family. What? Furs? Who, who needs furs? So all of this shite on Twitter is happening at the same time that he's released his new album, The Life of Pablo. I, I know, I, I don't get the title either. So this album is a big deal, yeah? And the album artwork, it's just shit. That took 30 seconds on Microsoft Paint, don't lie. And the thing that probably annoys me about this whole album situation, right, is that he's only released it exclusively on Tidal. So Tidal's like a music streaming service like Spotify or something like that. And to listen to this album, you have to sign up for it. But it's one of those things where you get a free first month and then after a month they charge you like money. Like I'm the type of person who just can't do that. Like I just always forget to cancel stuff like that. So I, so I can't listen to this album. So yeah, I've spent hours making this video, but I, I haven't even heard the album because I'm not allowed. I haven't allowed myself. It's starting to look like Amber Rose's tweets about him liking fingers up his bum have, have pretty much got to him. <laughs> I don't I don't know if this happened to anyone else. You know when you were younger and say you were on like a games console too much and your mum would take it off you and like you'd be banned from it, yeah? Kim Kardashian should do that with Kanye West's phone and Twitter account. Like, no Kanye, you've tweeted 21 times in the last seven minutes, yeah? It's probably time to leave this alone. Like he's been tweeting so much shit. BBC Radio 1 got a psychiatrist to analyse his tweets. Like, how, how far do you have to go to get to that point? So another part of this meltdown that he seems to be on is his beef with Taylor Swift. Him and Taylor Swift were like, didn't like each other, then I think they did like each other, and then recently, I, d I don't think they like each other anymore. So last week he debuted his album at Madison Square Gardens with everyone there, like his family, all the Kardashians, they were all there, and he was like playing the album through or whatever. He plays this song, and one of the lyrics is, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. Imagine being Kim Kardashian at that point, and your husband and father of your child just going, yeah, yeah, I might have sex with Taylor Swift. Like, <laughs> How weird a moment is that? So he tweeted about that whole thing later saying, I did not diss Taylor Swift. Bitch is an endearing term in hip hop. It's just not though, is it? It's just not. You're not just gonna walk up to your mother and be like, hey bitch, I get slapped in the next week. Like I like the bloke's music, but he's just full of shit. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. If we could go for the like goal of 600 again, that would be great. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.